How to Kick Like Bill Wallace When it comes to martial arts, Bill Wallace is a household name. Known for his powerful and effective kicking style, Bill Wallace has developed a reputation as one of the most influential kickers in the history of martial arts. If you're looking to improve your kicking technique, there's no better place to start than learning from Bill Wallace. In this video post, we'll be exploring how to kick like Bill Wallace so you can take your martial arts game to the next level. All of the video clips here and more are at this channel, be sure to subscribe to see more and like to keep the channel going. The Stance When attempting to kick like the legendary Bill Superfoot Wallace, the first thing you need to do is get into the proper stance. The Superfoot stance allows you to generate maximum power and range of motion. To assume the Superfoot stance, start by standing with your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart and your toes pointed slightly outward. Lower your center of gravity by bending your knees, making sure to keep your back straight and your chest up. Your hands should be in fists, held at waist height and slightly forward of your body. This will put you in the optimal position for the type of powerful kicks you will be attempting. Once you've mastered the basic stance, you can start practicing each of the kicks that make up Superfoot's signature style. The Roundhouse Kick The Roundhouse Kick is one of the most well-known and powerful kicks in martial arts. It can be used to surprise an opponent or finish a combination of strikes, and it was perfected by Bill Wallace, known as Superfoot. To perform a roundhouse kick, begin by standing with your feet shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. Bring your lead foot slightly forward and twist it outward at a 45 degree angle. Make sure your weight is distributed evenly between both legs. Once you are in position, raise your knee as high as possible and keep your toes pointed down. Swing your leg up and around in a circular motion and extend it forward as quickly as you can. As you bring your foot forward, turn your hips and shoulders in the same direction. At the same time, make sure to keep your guard up with your other arm. As you execute the roundhouse kick, shift your weight onto your rear leg. Keep your foot extended for maximum power and make contact with the target with the heel of your foot. To finish, bring your kicking leg back to its starting position and be sure to reset your guard. Practice this move slowly until you have mastered the technique and can move at full speed. With practice, you will be able to unleash the power of the roundhouse kick just like Superfoot. The Front Snap Kick The front snap kick is an incredibly powerful and versatile kick used in martial arts like karate and taekwondo. This kick can be used both offensively and defensively, making it a great choice for martial artists of any level. When performing the front snap kick, you want to start in a ready stance with your feet shoulder width apart and your fists up in front of your face. Next, drive one knee upward, keeping it bent and in line with your body. From this position, you will quickly snap your leg straight and extend it outwards in a straight line. Make sure that you are using your heel as the striking point and you are keeping your toes pointed toward the target. When executing the kick, you want to make sure that you maintain good balance by staying light on the balls of your feet. You should also keep your core engaged throughout the entire motion so that you can maximize the power of the kick. Finally, make sure you practice proper form when executing the front snap kick so that you can use it effectively in self-defense situations. With enough practice, you can develop this kick into a reliable tool for defending yourself. The Side Kick The side kick is a powerful kicking technique used by Bill Wallace. It is very effective for close combat and can be used to deliver powerful strikes to an opponent's body or face. To execute the side kick, you need to start in the same stance as the other kicks mentioned. Step back with your rear leg and bring your front leg up slightly with your toes pointing down. Make sure to keep your shoulders and hips square to your opponent so you maintain balance and power when delivering the kick. Once you have the correct positioning, you will drive your front knee up and kick outward with your heel. Your goal should be to strike the target with the heel and ball of your foot, as this combination will deliver more power than simply using the heel alone. Your aim should also be to follow through with the kick and stay close to your target. This will ensure that you can maintain control of the situation, as well as increase the impact of the strike. When practicing the side kick, it is important to make sure that you are aware of the range at which you can deliver the strike. The side kick has a relatively short range, so it's important to be able to recognize when it is appropriate to use. Practicing with a heavy bag is a great way to perfect your technique and practice the power behind each strike. The Crescent Kick The Crescent Kick is an effective way to surprise your opponent with a powerful kick. This kick combines the elements of both a roundhouse and a side kick. To perform this kick, start in a fighting stance with your feet shoulder width apart. 
As you swing your right leg, bring your knee up and tuck it towards your chest while at the same time keeping your toes pointed downwards. As your foot is coming down towards the ground, extend your ankle to generate power and twist your hip outward. The power of this kick comes from its momentum as it circles outwards from your body. When performing the crescent kick, make sure that your whole body remains well balanced and centered. As you extend your ankle, focus on controlling the power of the kick and striking the target with precision. The more practice you do, the better control you will have over the kick and the more powerful it will be.